Welcome back to Aliens, my name is Devin 20 and let's continue with this series on Python. And in this video, we'll talk about loops. Now, what exactly loop means? Now, in programming, what you do is you sometimes you need to repeat the statements. Example, let's say you have written five statements and maybe you want to repeat them. How will you repeat them? Of course, there's one way. You can copy paste the same code multiple times. Example, let's say I want to print, let me print telescope. So I want to print telescope once. And if I run this code, of course, it will print only once. What if I want to print telescope two times? So what we can do is we can just copy paste it, right? So we are good with we are good with this. So I will copy paste it and we got two telescopes. And if I run this code, you can see we got two telescopes. That's working. What if I want to print telescope 10 times? What you will do now? Of course, you can copy paste it 10 times. But don't you think you are doing manual work? You what if I want to print thousand times? So it will be difficult to do that, right? Now the best way to do it is applying a loop. What you can do here is you can say, hey Python, I want to, I want to repeat the same statement multiple times. To do that, we can use loops. And we can use two types of loops. One is called as while loop and second is called as for loop. Let's, let's focus on while here. So we can use a while. So while is a keyword. And then you have to specify the condition. See, while will say, okay, my job is to repeat this statement multiple times, but then tell me for how much time you want to do that. I will say, okay, do it for five times. But how do you how will I do that? So when you say you want to do it for five times, we count, right? We need a counter here. Example, if I say, hey, you say hello five times. I mean, I'm talking to you here, okay? So say hello five times. What you will do is in your mind, you will be saying hello once. Okay, hello, second time, hello, hello, and hello. So you have a counter there, right? In the same way, we need a counter here. For that, I will be using a variable called as i, and I will say i starts with one. And then every time, okay, first of all, you have to check, right? How will I check? If the value of i is less than or equal to five, okay, we have to apply a condition, right? So step one would be take a counter, a variable, which is i in this case, and check if the value of i is less than five. And every time you print telescope, just increment the value of i, right? So because you're doing it here, right? So you're saying, hello, hello. So you're incrementing the value. So you will say i is equal to i plus one. That's it, it's so simple. And remember the syntax. So we have to use a while, then we have to specify the condition and a colon. Now this colon specify whatever is coming ahead is a part of this block. And this two statement belongs to the same suit is because we are using a proper indentation here. And now let me just run this code and you can see we got telescope five times. So what is happening behind the scene? And how do I know that? It's very simple. So then set the breakpoint and now let's debug it. I love this thing, debugging. And then say F8. And you can see the value of i is one. Okay, that's done. And then if I again say F8, it is printing telescope once. And you can see that in the console. Okay, you can see that we got hello once. And if I go back to debug it again, the value of i now, so the moment I say F8, the value of i becomes two. You can see the value of i is two now. And it will check if two is less than five, yes. It will go ahead and it will print telescope. You can see if I go back to console, the telescope will print second time. And then if I say F8 again, you can see we got value of i is three. Is three less than five? Yes, it will go ahead, it will print. Uh, it will then try to print the statement, which is, which is telescope. And you can see in the console, we got telescope three times. And now the value of i is four, right? So if I, you can see the value of i is four. And then if I say F8, it will print telescope fourth time. You can see that in console. If I switch back to there, you can see we got telescope four times. And then the value of I now is five, right? Is a five less than equal to five? Yes, you can see we have equal to there. The evaluation is also true. You can see that the pop-up. If I say F8, telescope, it will print telescope fifth time. You can see we got fifth time. And if I go to debug it again, say F8, and you can see the value of I is six. Now the value of I is six, right? Is six less than or equal to five? No, that's a false, right? You can see the you can see the, you can see the pop up which is false. And if I say F8 now, it will come out. And that's why you got five times the disco, right? So this is how you can use while loop. Now three things are important here. First is the initialization. Second is the condition. And third one is increment. Oh. Can we do decrement here? Yes, we can do decrement as well. So you can do reverse, right? Sometimes we go in this way, hello, 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 hello. Or we can say, uh, so let's say we, we will do reverse. Hello, 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 right? So we can do that as well. So we'll start with five and then we'll, we'll reverse the condition. We'll say i is greater than or equal to one. And instead of saying i is equal to i plus one, we'll say i is equal to i minus one. We are going in reverse order. Let's run this code. It works. You can see we got five times hello. So we can go ascending or we can do descending, your choice. So there are three things important here. One, assign the value. 
then condition and then increment or decrement. Now let's say I don't want to print the disco here. I want to print the value itself. Or maybe I want to print the disco with the value. We can do that. So we can say space comma i. I want to print the value of i as well. Let's run this code and you can see it is printing the disco 5, the disco 4, the disco 3, the disco 2, and the disco 1. So you can do that. Okay, this is how you work with while loop. Now, can I use multiple li multiple whiles? I mean, while inside a while, you can do that. So we have done that before as well, right? Example, I will print Telesco once. And then while I'm printing Telesco once, I want to print Telesco rocks multiple times. I want to print Telesco rocks. Uh, I want to print rocks five times. So what I'll do, I will say while. Oh, now I want to say five times. I have to use a different variable, right? And I will be using a variable here, which is j is equal to one again. We'll say j less than equal to four let's say i want to i want to print rocks four times we'll give a colon and we'll say print rocks that's good so it will print telesco and then rocks four times i don't want to print the value of aina so it will print telesco and rocks four times so before executing this you try to guess the output okay it's you it's depend upon you now you tell me what's the output okay will it print telesco rocks four times see it's, telesco itself will get will be getting printed five times right and then on every line you will get rocks four times this is what you want right but if i run this code oh that's weird it's not stopping anywhere you know why it's not stopping because we forgot to increment the value of j you know you learn from mistakes let's run this code once again and you can see we got the disco rocks 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 four times and then again the disco four times that's that's that is not something which we want what is going wrong here let's try to debug this you know so i will just say Hey, debug the application. Now you can see the value of i is five. In fact, you know, just to make it more simple, let's go with one, let's go with increment so that it will be easier for understanding. Because once you understand the basic stuff, you can try it on your own. And remember this, we are using while inside a while, okay? So this is nested while loop. Let me just uh, debug this by applying a breakpoint. Let me say F8, and you can see the value of i is one. Remember these values, the value of j is one. Is one less than five? Yes. Let's go inside. It will print Telesco, of course. And you can see in the output console, uh, we, we will be getting Telesco now. We got Telesco. Now, what's the value of J? It's one. One less than four? Yes. It will go ahead. It will print rocks. It will execute this J equal to J plus one. So now the value for J is two. Okay? If, I, if I say F8, the value of J is two. But look at the jump. It is not jumping outside, it's not jumping back to this loop. It is jumping back to the inner loop because first it will complete the inner loop, then it will go back to the outer loop, right? It is something like, you know, we have seven days a week and each day has 24 hours, right? So you can imagine the number of days is the outer loop and the number of hours is the inner loop, right? So what it means, so let's say if you start with Sunday, Sunday has 24 hours, it will start with zero hour, then one hour, second hour, third hour, fourth hour. Now, when you complete the entire 24 hours, it will go for the new day, which is Monday in this case. On Monday as well, we have the same hours, right? Zeroth hour, oneth hour. So that means every time you change your day, it will restart the number of counting for your, your hours. So it will first complete the hours, right? So the same thing is happening here. So if I say F8 again, it prints rocks. Uh, it, will, it will increment the value of J to three. And that's why you can see, if you see the output, we got one telesco, but two time rocks. Okay, so that works. In fact, we wanted this, right? We wanted one telesco and four rocks. Uh, okay, we'll do that. We'll, we'll think about that. If I run this, you can see we got rocks. And once it is getting completed, once the value of j it becomes five, you can see that the value of j now is five. If I run this again, it is false. And now it is focusing on i. So i value is two now. It went back there. And then again, if I say f8, it will print telesco, of course. But look at the value of, for j. j is five. That's where things are going wrong. Now, since J is five, it is not continuing ahead. Oh, so that was a mistake. So to solve this problem, what we can do is first we have to do two things. I want to print rocks on the same line, right? I don't want to print rocks on new line. So what we can do is after the disco, I can give a comma and say, end is equal to double quotes. Now what it means, by default, when you say print, it will print the statement and comes on new line. I don't want new line. I want to print on same line. Example here, if you see, it is printing telesco and then it is coming on new line i don't want that i want it to be i want it to print telesco and stay on the same line same thing can be done for rocks i would say hey don't go on new line stay on the same line now i hope it will come on same line if i say run okay so that we got everything on same line okay we don't want that we don't want all telesco on same line we want telesco on new line 
So after incrementing, I will say print. Because see, after completing one telescope, I want to print on new line. So I will say run. You can see we got telescope on new lines, but then rocks is coming only for four times here. What, what is going wrong? The value of J reached five, five here, right? So what I will do is every time I start with the outer loop, I want to restart the value for J, which is one. It's important every time. In fact, we don't, we should not be declaring the value here. Let's start here. Okay, so it will initialize here, check for the condition here and then increment decrement here itself. Let's run this. This we want, right? So we got the disco rocks, rocks, rocks. Now how it is working, let's again go for debug. We'll say debug and say F8. You can see the value of i is 1, i less than 5, yes, it's 1. It will print telescope and it will not go on new line, okay? It will stay on the same line. Let me jump to console and you can see, if I say F8, telescope on same line, okay, there's not jumping to next line. The value for J is 1. Is 1 less than 4? Yes, it will go ahead and it will print rocks. And you can see rocks on the same line. And then the value of J is getting incremented to 2 now. So you can see the value for J is 2 here. And then... Again, it will come back, it will print rocks and it will go for J value, which is three. And then it will again, three is less than four. It will print rocks and then J value is four. And then it will check, is four equal to four? Yes, it will print rocks. And the value for J is now five. Now five is not less than equal to four. It will come out, but where? It will come out to this next statement, which is I is equal to I plus one. Now in this case, I equal to I plus one, it will increment the value for I. So it will make it two. And then since we are printing, if we, since we are doing print, it will come on new line. You can see the cursor now. Cursor is on new line. I will say, I mean, it will continue. Okay, so it will do the same thing which we have done till now. So if I go fast, 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 see that. See the sequence. So this is how your, your loops are working. Now see, since I'm doing this, I have worked on this for a long time, so I know how it works. Now, if you're a fresher, you might find this thing difficult, but trust me, the only thing Yes, this is not difficult. This is just unfamiliar. You just need to practice it. The more you practice this concept, it will make your concept very clear. Okay, so we'll be doing that. We'll be doing some more examples with this, you know, printing the patterns like star, 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 real stuff. So we'll do that in, in the further sessions. I hope you got some idea about while loop. In the next video, we'll talk about for loops. So if you're enjoying this series, let me know in the comment section and do click the like button if you're enjoying it. Thank you so much for watching, everyone.